What's going on guys? Sand for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Detroit Red Wings and uh, we're here at the trade deadline. Now, I'm not sure if I want to make any moves really. I, I see a couple, you know, suggestions for trades, but uh, you know, I don't know. Um, we'll go over them real quick, but first thing I want to show you is some, I've made some line changes and uh, I think this will benefit us and hopefully get us going in the right direction. All right, so as you can see here, first line's the same. Second line though, we, we moved Jake Bean to here. All right, we're putting him on the left wing to play with Larkin and Stone. Hopefully he can jumpstart these guys because I mean, when you look at him, he looks like that kind of guy. Passing 88, you know, offensive awareness 90, an amazing shot. He's good defensively as well. He's not good physically, but Stone and Larkin are good physically, so it does uh, excuse me, it doesn't matter. Everything else, you know, pucks, puck skills, senses, shooting, you know, skating, all those good things that should benefit an offense are there. So we're going to play him there on the second line. And uh, hopefully that boosts him up. Now I could even move him up uh, and switch around, switch him around with Kucherov um, just to maybe try to get Bean better. That's an option, but uh, for, I don't know. I mean, we could do that playing with, I mean, if I'm sure if you played with Konechny and Reinhardt, he would just be outstanding. Um, but I, it's the same kind of thing, you know, with Kucherov. I mean, Kucherov's doing, he's doing pretty damn good there on that first line. I mean, yeah, so I'm going to try to jumpstart this second line, use Bean to do that. Because Mantha's a good player, but he's not really a take over a line kind of player. Bean is, on the other hand. I mean, he was getting amazing points back there on the point. So I think if we put him here, he should be really productive and... You know, someone was saying to use Sari Arvi instead on the offense. Um, I don't want to do that because he's not as solid all around. He's a guy who will need more help. So if we put him here on the second pairing, he will have Bean and stuff to work with. So a lot of the time. So we're going to put him there, hopefully get him to play above his potential. get him up to like top four. If not, then, you know, he's a trading asset. But we're going to put him in there. We're going to keep Yules in here. And we moved up Callen Foot because we want that guy to get a lot better as well. So we're going to give him more ice time, play along with Sergachev. They're both the same age, so... Hopefully it works out for him. And uh, yeah, basically that's everything. So we got Mantha down on the third line. I think he'll be fine there. He's got decent defensive stats. Not great, but it is pretty decent. And Shahan and Bertuzzi, they can help carry him. Hope that line can get some scoring as well. So that's what we're doing. We have a really strong third line now. Then Glenn Denning back on the fourth line with Anthanasiu and Delorier. So yeah, that's what we're looking like. Defense maybe got a bit weaker, but we really need to take care of our scoring problems. All right, let's let's put the saddle again on Mrazek. And I was thinking about um, you know trading Kokkinen or moving him down to bring up uh, Lukanen because Lukanen has a way better reflexes category, and reflexes I think deal a lot with the sim. But uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, we only have a little bit of time left. I kind of. Like, Kokkinen is doing okay. His record isn't. That's the one thing. Like, I don't like his record. I'll show you guys. I'm not a fan of his record. That's the one reason I wanted to move him. Because the, the, just to see if uh, Lukanen could have a better record. Because that's really what we're missing. Like, a backup who can get us a bunch of extra wins. And I'll show you. His his personal stats are decent. But it's, uh, it's his record that really isn't. Like, when you look at him, like, 2.79. The goals against is not great. Save percentage is okay. But when it comes to his record, five, seven, and one, you know, uh, that's not good at all. Like, uh, yeah, you want you don't want your backup to have a kind of record like that. So I mean, I, that's what I was thinking of moving up, looking in for maybe shipping this guy off. But uh, I don't really know what we'd get. Maybe another like, maybe another young goalie to play in the AHL, and uh, I don't know, pick. But, so I'll look at that really quick, and if I don't see anything really jump out at me from someone who wants him, then I'll just hold on to things and keep them the same. But uh, let's check that out really quick. Try to make that move see what kind of value he has on him and uh where how we could move him so goalies uh it's a bit of value on him not much but uh it's a bit and yeah i, I do think we want to get lucan in up to be in way better wow a lot of people do want this guy all right so let's check at the ducks um contender yeah we'll check out the ducks here uh no not really I don't really have anything I want to get someone who can fill in some kind of role. See, right here wouldn't be bad. Okay. Oh, that guy. No, no. He's already 26. Never mind. I was thinking, okay, this guy could be good because, you know, of that. This, I think, this guy right here, this turn bomb guy, might be actually really good. This guy could be just AHL the whole time, but that's kind of okay. We kind of need two solid AHL goalies. At a 78, he would play well with that Van Podelbear guy, whatever his name is. So that's an idea. I'll hold on. He, they don't want to give him up. So I'll, I'll keep him in mind, that turn bomb guy on... Uh, on their team 
S Price. No, no, no. That's a that's a that's a build up guy. We don't need that. Fazio. Sorta, of, but nah. Not really for any of these guys. I mean, this is okay, but it's yeah, yellow backup, so he could get better. But I don't know. Hold off on that. Oh, they don't want him. Yeah, I, I'd pretty much okay. Well, here's another. There's a green thing, but I kind of almost want to pick up a pick here as well. So, I mean, when we were at no, nah, they're too. Yeah, their pick wouldn't have been great. I'm looking for someone who would need this guy and have maybe a decent pick. Okay, like the Sharks. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's going to be hard to get any of their pits. Is that Henrik Lundqvist? Wow. We could just have this guy as a backup. Yeah, no. I mean, his poise is good and everything, but other than that, I mean, what? We just throw him in if we look like we have an injury? Hmm. Yeah, no, not really. Poor Sharks, man. How are they that bad? How about these guys? Anyone here? Nope. Not looking like it. You know what? I really think we should go back to that one idea. Yeah, even though we might not get a great pick out of these guys, and we we, we can look for something else. So we'll throw in that turn bomb guy just to pick up another goalie and then see what else we can get from him. If they have any sort of prospect or anything like that, let's just go to all skaters here and try to find something sort of matching a block. Who's that? Top six guy. 19, a center sniper. That's actually interesting. Center sniper. I, I think that's too much value, to be honest, though. I really do, yeah. Plus, he's... Do we need another sniper? I don't know. Hmm. Some defense, man. I think we're set. I mean, if we tried to get this guy, would that even... Yeah, that's way too much value if we tried to get that guy. Yeah, way too much value. I'd almost have to just go for pick here. Yeah, all right. So let's look at a pick. So we tried to get their second. Their second, it's not going to be that great of a pick, but it is... It's something. Yeah, I don't know if that goes through, but we'll try. Uh, Kockinen, turn bomb for... for and turn, uh, yeah, Kockinen for turn bomb and a second. Will that go through? No, okay, uh, yeah, the value is too far off. Yeah. What I wouldn't, yeah, no, I, I want, I want something like this. Now, let's see, what, what was uh, a couple of the other teams that I was looking at? Was it Toronto? I know they had someone who might have had a little bit of value on it. Yeah, let's actually just go back to goalies and see if we can find someone with a little bit of value who could actually get better. No, this wasn't it. It was one of the, it was someone here, like a green like one of those like a green AHL starter, but he's got a tiny bit of value, and he's twenty three, only one year left on his deal. Like he could get oh wait didn't we tra yeah we traded that guy, I think we drafted that guy and traded him yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did I'm not I'm not positive but I think that was the guy. Uh no, come on now. All right, now this might be something actually better. I got this Lala guy. He's listed to be backup, but it is green. So he could actually turn out to be better than Kakinen. He's listed to be a minor starter, which is what we're going to need. And uh, the value is pretty much there. And I don't know if we'll be able to get anything else for it, but we will try. I don't think so, but we're going to try to get a little bit. Nah, well, I'll throw in a fourth because they want to give it up. Maybe that helps it push it across. Let's try that. It did not. Let's just take off the fourth and just go straight up Kakinen for Lala. There we go. Okay, so that should move. That works right there. There we go. And go to roster moves. And that should take care of everything. All right. Yeah, I just have to. I just have to do the lines. I'm pretty sure. And then everything else should be taken care of. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I have to, have to move them up. Uh, no, I do not. Oh well, actually, yeah, I do. So give me once, yeah, I'm going to move up, what's his name? Okay, whatever, doesn't matter, I didn't make any changes. Oh, unless it, no, it won't reset everything. That'd be crazy if it reset everything, though. Just go goalies, we're going to move, yeah, we're going to bring up Lukanen. And move down this Lala guy. So that almost seems like a downgrade, but the thing is, we don't need Kakinen. We want to make room for Lukanen to be our backup. And then we could also train up this guy who's, uh, you know, green backup. And he could actually 
get more value so we could, you know, flip him. Or if he stays, you know, at a as a listed to be minor starter, he could just keep playing that role and won't be like demoralized or anything like that. So Lucan and remember, he's where he was like an 82. He's now dropped a bit because uh I think he was playing in a role below him. So we're gonna bring him up. He has a better reflexes category. We're gonna see if he can get us a couple extra wins here. And uh, we shipped off Cocken into elsewhere. And another thing, Lukanen can get a lot better. I want him to get up to like 84, 85, and then we'll have two solid goaltenders. And that will help us a lot here. That's I at least that's what I think. That's my logic behind it. So okay, we gotta edit more lines here. Why? Who's it? Oh do oh yeah. Obviously we gotta put him in there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put him put him in, and that should take care of it, correct? And then AHL, do the same thing. Put him in. All right, now we got those two guys. Now we might be a little bit worse, but our AHL already has a tremendous record. So I, I don't foresee them just having a bad end to this, or not making the playoffs. They're not just going to be terrible, hopefully. <laughs> they, I mean, if you check the record, they're 31, 13, and 10. They're fine. All right, so what really matters is if we can get ourselves into the playoffs, which if you look at it, it's a tall order. But I think the changes we made should help us. You know, that little trade we made, the line change, putting Bean as a full, we're trying him out there. And, uh, you know, we'll see where this takes us. All right, I'm going to go take it a bit slower as well. I'm only going to go like five games at a time so we're gonna do that we're gonna take this a little bit slow we want to make sure we can get w's here all right so i'm hoping i'm really hoping our offense really comes to life here and we get a lot of w's that's not the way we want to start that's a loss oh my god two losses i don't know guys it's a tall order right now this is uh this is very bad there we go win now win a couple we need to string together some wins here Ugh. very unfortunate start we didn't go here apparently oh, i thought we did there we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, we erased those two losses, but now we need to gain points. We can't just be erasing losses. Okay, it looks like our offense is doing a bit better. So there we go. Let's go another yeah, Let's go another five games here. All right, let's hope we can keep it up. We need good offense. We need to keep shutting them down defensively. We, we need it. There we go. Stringing, some, stringing together some wins. That what, that's what we need. We need to beat these uh, divisional and conference teams. There we go. Okay, big loss right there. But we strung together a few wins. Can't ah, We need to answer back with wins. When we lose, we can't like lose again. We got to answer back with these wins, man. We really do. Okay, so 36, 29, and 6. Still very, very close here. Still really close. But it looks like we are scoring a bit more. It looks like our defense might be suffering a tiny bit, but... Overall, are we jump? Are we kind of going back up? Eh, it's getting close now. It's getting really close. 78 points. We're five points behind. Yeah, and these guys aren't even in wild card slots anymore. I don't know, guys. I think the conference is too strong this year. When you look at it, we just we have to go on an absolute tear, and it really doesn't look like we're doing that. So when you look at it, yeah, we're down in sixth here. 78 points. 70. Oh man, yeah. No, we need. We ugh, we're six points behind a wild card spot it looks like six points behind yeah we're six points behind a wild card spot that's tough we have to get past a lot of teams here so it looks like they are scoring more when he, he was at 49 points he jumped up by nine points in 10 games so it looks like st st it's getting a bit better beans gotten five points it looks like stone you know they just, everyone needs to improve we only have 11 games left we pretty much need to win every single one of these games to make the playoffs and i don't know i think we are scoring a bit more but uh, I really don't know if it's, I don't know if we make it. We have to either get up to third in our division or beat the wildcard teams. To get up to third, I'm just going to check. To get up to third in our division, it's eight points. <laughs> eight points or six points is what we need to gain on people. So that's three games. We're basically three games back. So uh, I don't know. It's tough, man. It's really tough. Let's, uh, let's sim another. You know, we're just, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, let's just go. God, come on, guys. Please just start winning. Start just killing the stuff, man. Just kill it. Just kill it, man. Go on a tear. We need a huge tear right now. Go on a tear. God, there we go. Okay, guys, stringing together some wins. Ah! Losses, man. We need points, too. We can't just lose in regulation. We need to at least get points out of these guys. We really do. Uh, it's not, no, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. It really isn't. Okay, we get another win there, but did we creep up anymore? Did we creep up? It's tight. It's very tight. 
84. Okay, we've we've crept up a bit, but look at that. The the next uh, wild card spot is 91 points. Like everyone else is doing way too good. We're now seven points behind a wild card spot. So I don't think so. I really don't think so. You look at it, 84 points. Uh, 89 points is looking like a uh, wild card spot. 89. So again. Five points now. Okay, so we caught up by one point, but that's not enough. We we really have to pray for a miracle here in these last games. So, uh, it's going to be really rough to miss the playoffs here, but I, I really think it's going to happen unless they turn it on. I'm just going to sim to the end, hope for the best, guys. It's all you. Boston, we got to beat. Can We we have two matchups here against Boston. Can we beat these guys? We need to. We have to beat these guys. There we go. That's huge. That's huge. Oh, my God. Winnipeg defending Stanley Cup champs are still amazing. Can we pull off a victory against them? Can we pull off a victory against them? I don't know. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Huge win. Come on, come on. Just keep, keep it. Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on. All right. We got to win this. Ah, no, no, no. Win against Boston. We have to. Yes, there we go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think it's still too. No, we failed to make the playoffs. It just said it. Oh, fuck's sake. We failed to make the playoffs. My goodness. Too many losses. Three losses right there killed us. Those two losses pretty much lost it for us. And then we lose the last game of the season, too. Wow, we actually failed to make the playoffs. Well, that's what happens, man. We didn't have a good... St we had a good start, and then that 10-game losing streak just threw everything off. After that, it was just all bad. All bad after that. Fuck. Wow, no, we, didn't, we weren't even close, man. Look, at our division is insanely strong now. Now we have to have just an amazing team. What? 98 points. Oh yeah, we had it. Yeah, yeah, we had ninety. What am I thinking? I was looking at them. Yeah, no, we weren't even close, man. Okay, our conference is way too strong. Wow. <laughs> now it's like we're wow. Look at that. One hundred twenty points. One hundred fourteen points. One hundred four. One hundred three. That's in, that's insane. Wow. Yeah, no, we weren't even close. Look, we were way far away from. Look, even we were even behind New York, man. We weren't even close. All right, but goals four per game. Looks like it did go up. <laughs> goals against per game no it's we solved that then that sucks man i don't know rough this is really rough here that's just insane why the hell did tampa do so good like why are these teams doing so good man ah all right well failed to make the playoffs that sucks that really does suck man that's uh not where we wanted to be but you know what it has to do with us not being able to fucking score it's simple. We can't score. I moved Bean up to the forwards. Didn't look like it really helped him much. Konechny. Look at Konechny, man. This guy's playing first line time. Like, what the hell is going on, man? I don't know. Anthony to see you. A fourth liner has 40 points ahead of Larkin. What? How does that even work, man? I think, I, I, I'm thinking Larkin's got to go. We've tried with this guy and he's, he's just not getting it done. We need another, we need, I think we need a first liner. Connect needs a second liner. We need a first line center. The end of story. We need a first line center here. Bright note is we have some picks to work with here in this draft. So if we could get someone who's like a franchise player, we can turn this around and we can win the Stanley Cup. But right now we hit a rut and uh, yeah, when your fourth line center is out playing your f captain on the second line. That's a problem, and it's a problem we got to solve pretty quickly. So, we tried being there. Maybe we move him back, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's uh, that sucks. <laughs> that's all. That's all I can say, man. That sucks. That's that's rough. Very very rough way to to go out. Not even making the playoffs here in year five. Oh, man, we do not want this rut in the road, man. Ha mid midway through this franchise, we're hitting ruts, man. The, the, our conference is insanely strong. We have to be an elite team just to compete with them. Like, ooh. All right, well, we got our work cut out for us definitely in this draft. So uh, give me your drafting strategies. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to sim up to the draft and get everything scouted. So I might cut this out, but, yeah. Actually, no, I'm just going to talk over this. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Actually, actually, let me stop. Let me follow our uh, Grand Rapids team. I should do that, definitely. I just want to check them out. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, yeah. Let's just follow the Grand Rapids team. 
Okay, it looks like they're entering the playoffs here. We're going to sim up to the draft and just follow these guys along as they go through their playoff journey. All right, so let's hope the Grand Rapids can have a good uh, playoffs here. Oh, uh, they lost in overtime. That sucks. They lost in overtime again, and it looks like they're going to go out in three. Yep, they went out in three. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, for the last couple of years, man, Grand Rapids cannot get past the first round. That's not good, guys. Come on now. All right, so AHL team failed to do anything. That sucks. They really need extra games, man, to get our, to get those young guys to get better. But, uh, yeah, not looking good right now. My goodness. Ugh. Well, we tried. We failed to make the playoffs. That really still sucks, man. But when we go into this draft thing, there's a couple things we got to look out for. First thing, I think we really need to look for some kind of just a franchise guy here. Okay, five. Okay, six weeks is the max. So let's go three weeks here and then get three weeks somewhere else and try to get as many guys scouted as possible. I'm really hoping there's some sort of like a franchise player in this year. I doubt it. And I doubt we'll win the lottery anyway. But if we could trade up for it, I would love, I will check out the scouting guys and I will make a move because we need some jolt. We need something. All right, because Larkin really isn't getting it done, man. I, we've tried a lot with him. I mean, it's just, I think it's just that combination, him and Stone playing together, but then everyone else is playing pretty decently together. So I think Konechny, he needs to be a second liner and we need some sort of a guy who can take over that first line. I think that's really what it comes down to. All right, so we scouted here and now probably scout here for three weeks or two weeks or let's go. You can do it, do the forward there for one week, check him out. And then do the remaining time there, I think. That should work. If we only do one week here, that should work. It shouldn't just cut it off. Because sometimes it'll just cut it off. Please don't cut it off. I'll fucking cut it off. God damn it. Ah! I hate that. Because then it'll just go to like random places. Alright, where are we? Are? Okay, we got the seventh pick. Where else? Oh, oh, holy crap! Holy crap! We got the seventh and the second. I didn't even see that. We got the second overall, the seventh overall. That's amazing. That's great. That's great. That's great. Okay, okay, okay. Second overall and the seventh overall. We can get two quality players. We can move up and get another quality player. Holy. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to check out all the retirements here. We're not going to do the draft in this video, but I'm going to take care of everything. So we lost Trevor Lewis. That sucks. Um, whatever, though. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe we made, missed the playoffs. Corey Perry left. Zach Parise, Van Stastny. So with all these guys leaving, you'd kind of think there's going to be some big names or big guys popping up here in the draft. There's been a lot of big retirements here. And, uh, you know, the game needs to fill it somehow. I'm thinking this could be a really, uh, excuse me, big draft. Despite it saying it's going to be a weaker year. I really think it could be a big draft here. I really do. Lungfist. Ooh, wow, Lungfist is gone. Dubnik's gone as well. Budai, Grice. Okay, no, Lungfist and Dubnik are the big ones. All right. Well... Getting into the draft here. We'll take care of that in the next video. But for right now, this will be Sin signing off. I do apologize for failing to make the playoffs. But you know what? That the, that losing streak really cost us. We couldn't get back on top of things after that. It really threw us off. So we got to take care of uh, offense again. And I really think, I I'm, I'm hate to say it, but I think Larkin is the weak link. I think we need to play connect me on the second line and find a really just amazing franchise player for that first line. Because we put the saddle on Larkin. And he's done okay for us. We've gotten, you know, through to playoffs. We've gotten to the Stanley Cup, but then we missed the playoffs the next year. So it's something that's definitely wrong. That's my idea on it. You guys can have other ideas. But that's what I think we need to do is hopefully just pray that there's some kind of franchise center here in the draft or some kind of franchise player and uh, get him <laughs> because something needs to happen and we need a big jolt. All right, so halfway through this GM, we're – uh. In a bit of trouble here. So give me all your suggestions how to get us out of this trouble. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.